Welcome back to the room three. Last episode we cracked open this pyramid. Let's see what's going on inside of the center. Look at that jewel. Clicking it makes a cool noise. Oh, three different colored ones. Okay, seems... Hmm, maybe not straightforward. Does this need to be lined up? Ah, so we can do that with rotation. Such as this? We need it to be on the top right. That's already in the right position for this one. Not the right position for that one. That should do it. Does that go into this hole? Okay, now we gotta make the key. Snake arrow two lines. Snake arrow two lines. Ready? Oh no. So this moves the gear around and this rotates, like, this <laughs> This moves the location of the gear and this makes it spin. Oh, I need to get them all down here in this, like, golden part, actually, don't I? Oh, is it highlighting which ones are going to spin? Oh, they spin in different directions, and since they have different sized gears, they spin at different speeds. Oh no. So it's either the outside one, the two outside ones. Or a bunch of them. <laughs> oh, that worked out. Yeah, actually, that's that's good, because we can control just the outside one. It's 
a really cool mechanism. so much to this location, I love it. In a very weird way, though. Okay, <laughs> there it goes. Can't attach if the socket is too small. Hmm. So, I, hmm, maybe I need to put this in the bandsaw or the milling machine or something? Oh, wait a minute. Broken piece of wood, I doubt this will be useful. Uh oh. Yeah, let's. Oh, wait. Nope, that's nothing. Let's go back to the machine room. I think we can cut the wood a little bit smaller, probably on the bandsaw. Ah. Don't need to process it any further, or is that enough? I don't see how cutting it in half is going to help. Maybe I do still need to put it in here. Yes. Like, by cutting it in half, we made it shorter. That's great, but it's not going to fit into the hole anymore. The length wasn't the issue. <laughs> the symbols that that needs to be were listed on the hand itself? Yes. Going from 
the wrist to the elbow, it's eh, a little bit hard to see. It's um pyramid with a squiggly through it. Box. Two V's. Pyramid with a squiggly through it. Box. Two V's. That one, box, two Vs. Ah, oh, that gives us the part we need. The camshaft, that's what we were missing. God, it looks so strange, doesn't it? Camshafts really are weird things. So do I need to like match it shows here, or I don't know, it shows that as being adjustable. Maybe that, that looks adjustable. I think we should just go to the other hand and just see what happens. So let's selecting one of four positions. pressed in they are determines how open the fingers are, so we need them all open at the same time, of course. That looks so weird if you keep spinning it the way the fingers are moving. Wiggling. Why did it move? Wait, where does this key go? Like, I don't think this is supposed to take a key. I don't know, maybe. Like, that's a place we already put a key, but then this thing flipped over it and covered it up? Or is that keyhole part of the cover? Well, either way, the key doesn't fit, does it? Oh. I can't change three of these, but I can change this one. Oh, the key belongs... Here, that's what all those open spots are on the side for it to sit on those pegs. Is the tip correct, though? I guess. Well, we got it back, so I guess we're not done with it, are we? What now? <laughs> uh... Almost fits, but something's not right. Okay, this... Right. Okay, so the key's gonna go onto that shaft. For it to do that... For it to do that, we need this to be on the same line as the rest of them. Like, the closest to it. Not on the opposite side, but on the same side as these inner bits. And for this one, I think it's just the handle bit that sticks on this, right? Praise is due. You mastered the sinister machinery of the forge with aplomb. 
a plum, a plum. Let the splinters in your fingertips be a reminder of how far you've come. So, I wasn't even close to done with this room when we went over there. Yeah, I wasn't able to do anything with this whole thing yet, or maybe I didn't even examine it. And there's this keyhole. We have the box of my inventory, the crystal, and of course the next key. Look at it covered in cobwebs. The latch is locking the dial in place. Ooh. I see you hiding under there. Look at that. Very well hidden. August 7th. My fate rests in a terrible paradox. I have need to trap a soul of great brilliance. But for them to exhibit the brilliance I seek, they must surely also see the trap. The outcome is balanced on a razor's edge. They yearn for the source of the null, just as I have. I can feel their longing. It must blind them to their fate. I assume this is from the craftsman, just like everything else has been. Yeah, I figured this was some sort of a trap. I mean... The stuff they've said in the past about me being, like, perfect and brilliant, you're the person I need, and let's work together, seemed too perfect? Seemed like bullshit. Because they didn't seem like a good person. And I guess this is them just outright saying it. They must surely see the trap if they're brilliant, like I need them to be. I'm not sure what to do about that, though. Like, if I know it's a trap and they plan on using me. Right, they need to trap a soul of great brilliance. They probably need to trap a soul of great brilliance to escape, right? Like, feed the monster. <laughs> feed them, like, a hostage uh, exchange. Take this one, let me go. This machine looks very cool. Oh, I'm still missing one crystal. So this machine isn't going to do anything for a while. Another one of these. This is the same sort of symbol that was on the altar in one of the other locations. Wait, this can go on there? I'm not going to get that back, am I? <laughs> I'm changing its form. Oh! Oh, that's so cool! It can change it into whatever form I want. Okay, um, I want it to be a ball. Because where I got this thing from, remember, it came from a side where it went into, like, a square slot. And on the other side, there was an empty uh, ball slot. That is so cool. Look at this little thing pump away. Yeah, up here. Whoa. 
Ho, ho, ho. You can hear the audience. Blank wax cylinder. It's blank, so it needs to be written to with audio. Oh, I think I just pressed the play button, but there's nothing in here, so it's playing nothing. Quite a few record players or phonographs or whatever they are around this place like this, for example. Oh yeah, this one doesn't have its cylinder. Or does it? Is that a cil- Actually, I think that is a cylinder. This thing also doesn't have power, so this is not the thing I need to interact with right now, I think. I feel like I might be missing a piece of the puzzle. Let's keep doing the main quest. At least put this in and see what pops up. Maybe that'll give me some extra stuff. Yes. That, I know exactly what that is. That's what I need to put on the altar. Back. Here, maybe. <laughs> yes. This looks in terrible condition. There's a screw next to it. Also a screwdriver. Yay, chubby screwdriver. Love him. But I can't pick up the screw. I feel like I'm supposed to screw this down. Is there something wrong with that screw? It looks fine to me. Would be kind of short. I knew you would not disappoint me. You've proven yourself a worthy apprentice, and now you stand on the threshold of mankind's greatest day. I have not brought you here simply to bear mute witness to my achievements. You have a role to play, one more pivotal than you will ever know. Know that the breakthrough we are, uh, we now make together I could never have made without your vital contribution. Yes, the contribution of my soul, fucker. <laughs> The 
handles stuck? so cool out there this really do, this really is giving me massive mist vibes little islands traveling in elevators wait these don't these don't have any markings. Does that mean it doesn't matter which ones you connect to? Huh. Wait, what? I guess it does matter, you just can't see what they are. thing in the center like if I grab it I can move it very very slightly hmm like very slightly I guess I need to build up momentum yeah rock it back and forth what's my end goal here though <laughs> Like, I don't think that's very useful, is it? Uh, that's gonna take a while for its momentum to stop. Perhaps I'm supposed to bash the safe with it? I think so. Too impatient to wait for the momentum to stop. Yes. Oh, it's going downstairs. Well, hopefully we freed up that handle. <laughs> I remember right when I flip the levers for this thing that takes me right away to the new location and I don't want to do that yet so let's go downstairs and check out that safe Wait, where does that shaft go to? I thought this shaft went to like right here. Where's the safe? Is it back here? It is. And there's a third crystal. 
August 11th. I woke up on the floor of the workshop again. A new box was on the table, and I recall nothing of making it. Did I create any of them, or only dream these creations? What is beyond doubt is that there is something guiding my hand. Who pulls the strings of the puppet master? So the craftsman just woke up with the boxes. Just there, done. Remember we had one of those boxes on the train. Okay, crystal goes in this this way. That's not it. That way. That is a wall. Oh, it's a maze. It's like I'm controlling a little RC car or something. And this is pointing to my goal, I assume. Now it's pointing straight left, so let's turn. is mysterious. What the heck is this? It's like a couple triangles intersecting along with some other stuff. Where does this go? There's a lens on the back and an iris here. Like this is some sort of a camera or lens thing. know somewhere where that goes? Such a large object that goes into such a strange slot? I haven't found anywhere for it to go, but I did get to thinking, now that I have a screwdriver, I've been on the lookout for screws, I can use this. Is it, am I harvesting the screw so I can put it in the other one, or is this to see if there's anything hidden? Ah, oh, so the other one is missing parts. Missing that. Yeah, I can't find anything in any of the other rooms or any place to use this strange artifact. What is that? Well, I can put this electrical piece in. I guess I don't have to screw it down. Nope. But this doesn't really matter yet, because this won't be active until this is active. And once I activate this, I think I'll be whisked away to the new place. So I think I just need to go to the new place. I don't think there's any more I can progress with this strange artifact. I'll check over here real quick, but yeah, I think we need to go. Oh, right. I guess I get whisked away right after I finish this. <laughs> 